Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> Tell me, what are you doing today in Dallas? Um, well, I was first here, I did an interview this morning, and we're actually, we had a press conference here um, about the soundtrack to the movie, um, In Search of the American Dream. Um, we just got finished with that and got to meet some really awesome people. And she's talking about preview. me, just for the people that it has no idea, she's talking about me. <laughs> we also did a preview of the movie too, a 40 minute preview. Did you sing any in the, in the soundtrack? Oh no, I like to sing in the shower and in the car, but no. How about you sing for the pink iPhone, you know? Uh, Even that the pink iPhone <laughs> lose her clothes the, right now, the, here is. the pink iPhone? <laughs> you want to hear me sing. <laughs> I was I was gonna sing with you one of the songs of the soundtrack and they were so cool. They I know the one from Ramon Ayala. Yeah, I, the... I was just with Ramon at his uh, ranch um, this past week and he is awesome. Um, I also got to, I was on the Johnny Canales show. I don't know if you know who that is, but he is amazing too. I got, <laughs> I got the pleasure to meet some really great people this past week, so it's been fun. Oh, that's great. Well, yeah, yeah I saw a preview. Um, and I got to see you acting, and mm -hmm. I thought you were wonderful. You, you were so real and at the same time so natural. So how do you, how did you prepare for this character? Um, it was actually kind of, I would say simple. Um, I am an all-American team, um, so bringing that was kind of you know a little easier for me. But you know, also I'm a dancer, so you know the cheerleading, dancing wasn't too hard to do that either. Um, but you know, not having little sisters or little brothers was so different. I, I'm the youngest and the only girl. So, <laughs> um, having the kids on set was awesome though. You know, they're, they're really like brothers and sisters to me. Um, I call them, they know my boyfriends, I know their boyfriends, girlfriends, you know, every little thing about them. <laughs> you didn't um, go back to your mom and say, hey mom, I want a brother, right? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> I still want to be the only, you know. Okay. <laughs> um, but um, the also, you know, what was kind of easy is because, you know, I, I have diabetes in the film. And, you know, I also do suffer from a disease myself. It's thyroid disease. So kind of, you know, I mean, I did have to do the research, you know, do, do all the research on all of that, which, you know, it was hard to do. And, you know, it's, it's hard to cry on cue. You know, I had to do it. There's a lot of crying because it's a sad movie. You know, all of that is, it's, it was hard, you know, as an actor to really pull yourself together at 16 and do scenes like that. And then, you know, also the scenes where we're being taken apart from each other as a family, you know, it gives me chills every time I see it. It, it makes me want to cry, you know, because they grew to be my family and I can never, if that ever happened to me, I don't know what I would do with my real family. You know. And and how was for you to to separate from the character to go home and be like okay uh, you know to do not let this character depress you and then be like this is life is so sad you know yeah, yeah um you know it's still in the back of your mind that you know that stuff does happen you know but there that's where you know as a person I want to help you know I want to be in you know helping foundations whatever it be you know helping the poor and you know anything just to help. You know, I mean, but it's still in the back of your mind that, wow, there's little kids like that, you know. And, you know, that's where, as an actor, you have to separate yourself from the acting and true life, you know. And then, you know, it makes you want to go grab your mom and give her the biggest hug, you know. So it just, it, it really, you know, you don't take your family for granted, you know. And I've learned to love, 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 you know. And not take anything for granted. <laughs> so I can see that this movie, because you were 16, it really helped you to, to grow up grow. as a person because, I mean, you are so mature to, yeah. to your age right now. <laughs> so yeah. Like, um, it has made me realize, you know, a lot of things in life. Um, started at 16 filming the movie, and, you know, I've had my ups and my downs as a teenager, you know. Um, and I've gone through experiences just like, you know, something, you know, similar to that, you know, my grandfather, he was assassinated, you know, and stuff like that, you know, it just, it makes you mature. Um, I've been doing acting for nine years, so I know, I knew what I wanted at, you know, when I was, you know, 16, you know, 15, I knew I wanted to be an actor, and you know, when you 
want to do something, you, you put all your passion towards it. And you go for it. And you don't let anything stop you. Whether it be boyfriends, be those parties, you know, that everyone's asking you to go to. <laughs> you know, you, I mean, you're faced with hard things. But you got to keep a level head. You know, you can't get mixed up in that. And, um, you know, I was, I've been raised by two great people, my mom and my dad. Um, and they support me 100%. And, and you got to have that support, too, um, without, you know, support from your parents. I don't think anybody would be anybody, anywhere. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I've grown up and blossomed. <laughs> well, that's great, and I hope to see you soon in a very famous uh, Hollywood uh, film. And <laughs> One of these days. <laughs> just to finish the interview, how about you say something in Spanish for the camera? Muchas gracias. Um, thank you for letting me have you on, on the show. Um, I don't know how to say come see en busca de sueño americano. <laughs> Muy bien. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you.